Welcome to Deep Thought. Deal with truth no matter how much it hurts. This is very important. This is very important because previously I talked about ignoring reality. Why do people ignore reality? Because the truth would hurt. You know, I mentioned about women dealing with some guy that, you know, they they normally wouldn't consider select, right? But they, you know, they'll ignore that this guy doesn't work or they'll ignore this guy got some negative traits, right? Look, that hurts him in the long run. Or let me twist that around. Let me t- twist that around. They'll get that, uh, you get some women, they'll get that real attractive guy, right? Real attractive guy, and he got some negative traits. He can be abusive and everything, you know? Real attractive guy with some money, but he can be abusive. Women will ignore his bad stuff because it looks good to other people. Indeed, I've talked with some women who got guys who had money, they look good, had money, everything, but the guys had some negative traits. But because the man had money, They ignored the other stuff, and they end up getting hurt by it. There's been women abused by men who would look good otherwise, and the signs were already there. And men do it, too. Let's just be clear. You know, the truth of the matter is that woman is toxic. But she fine, though. So the guy will ignore the toxic parts. And, you know, get more off on, like, other guys seeing them together and making them feel good, you know. But the truth is, she abuses him behind closed doors. You know, that's the truth. She abuses him behind closed doors, right? See, you got to look at the truth of a situation, what's really happening. And it's tough for everybody. You know, because there are so many factors that prevent us from looking at the truth. Now, I talked about, previously talking about people willfully ignoring the truth, but, you know, maybe it's their mental health that causes them to ignore the truth. It could be their false beliefs that cause them to ignore the truth. But you know what? You always got to deal with it. I remember when I was on this uh, website uh, with a group back in the early uh, 2000s. And there was a saying that was very prominent among us. And that saying was, there's no religion higher than truth. You got to deal with it no matter what. The truth of a situation. See, I'm going to tell you what. One of the things, and I could have said this in a previous podcast, we lie to ourselves. People lie to themselves. Seriously. And ain't it's just they plain lie. Whatever reason they lying to themselves for is irrelevant. The bottom line is they lying to themselves. And if you go through life lying to yourselves, you're going to get hurt. You know, you might get into, you know, I use the, always use the relationship examples. You get, you might get into a relationship and, you know, you'll lie to yourself, say, yeah, this person really wants you because they really love you, want their personality. No, they want the money in your pocket or they just want you for gratification or they just want you as a beard because they really don't like the opposite sex. Right. You know, but you'll lie to yourself and you'll see the signs, but you'll lie to yourself and say, no, nah, this ain't the thing. See, the thing is, truth is truth. Truth is truth. But when you don't deal with the truth, you setting yourself up to be hurt because the truth always comes out. Now, often I've talked about and not just on this channel, but my other channels, even privately about the mask. And I've constantly said about taking the mask off. Other content creators have talked about taking the mask off, right? Because there was always there will always be those occasions where the truth is going to pop up. I don't care what you think about yourself, what you want to believe about yourself. Something is going to happen. Somebody might tell you, right? How many times has somebody thought that they were like super attractive or they were super smart and then they get that person who's like cut to the chase and say, no, you you don't look like shit. Or you're not as smart as you think you are. And they'll tell you, it messes with some people. Now people try to ignore it, but then when 15 other people say the same thing, boom. You know, you got to deal with the reality of it. And yeah, it hurts. (laughs) 
Because the reason that we create false beliefs, the reason why we lie to ourselves is to feel good. We want to feel good about life. We want to feel good about our perception of the world. But we still got to deal with truth no matter what. Because you can live on a lie for a long time, but lies fall apart. A lie is a house of cards. All it takes is a good win, a good shake or something for it to come crawling down. Come crumbling down. I say crawling down. Crumbling down. It don't take much. You pluck a house of cards, it's down. See, the thing is, no lies stand up. You know? See, at best, you got to try to live in truth. You just got to be honest. Even if, the, at the very least, be honest with yourself. Because, look, let's be real. Some people consciously put on a mask. And you know what? I'm not going to judge that. I don't know the situation. You know, a lot of times people have to put on a mask just to make money and go out here to work. I know I did. And like I always say, I ain't no guru on top of the mountain. A lot of stuff I talk about, I had to go through. I know I had to put on a big mask when I had to work with other people, which is why I don't work for people now. I had to bite my tongue a lot. And I've said before... You know, I've gotten in trouble on jobs because I'm getting into it with people. Because sometimes that mask will just crack. But that was the truth. But facing that truth about myself is why I'm in a position now. I don't work for anybody. I'm very successful. You know, I'm living the life I want to live because I face the truth. Right? But a lot of people don't want to deal with that. They'll tell themselves, they're like, oh, I really like this job. I really like this situation. Right? They'll like the, they'll say, oh yeah, I like this, I like this. It's like, no, you don't. You know. They'll drive a bad car, like that's always breaking down, and say, Well, I really like this. Or be in a relationship with somebody they really don't want to be with, or live in a situation, be going through stuff. This is cool. It's like, no, it ain't. Cause see, when you see, here's the thing. When you start facing the truth of something, and you be honest with yourself about something. That's when things change. When you honest with yourself about what you want to do, what you interested in, who you are, then things change for you because you ain't trying to live a lie. You ain't trying to live a lie. You ain't going to get in a relationship you don't want to be in. You ain't going to like stay on a job that you know you can't stand. You ain't going to stay in situations which you know you don't, you don't really support. Because when you deal with truth, you deal with who you really are. Once you do that and once you know yourself, that's it. Yeah, it's some pain. Yeah, truth can be pain, but where's the pain? Where is the pain? I use an example. I always talk about the body game. Anybody who lifts anything like that, there's always some pain. There should be some pain. In fact, some people look forward to that pain. You're going to feel it. But that pain actually makes you stronger. Because when you go through that pain, that's just saying, hey, this ain't right, but it'll fix itself and you're actually stronger. Facing truth, yeah, it can be, you know, it can be very painful. It can hurt. It'll shatter your whole world. But the world you'll live in afterwards is well worth it. You know? And you got to deal with it. You got to deal with the truth of who you are. Because once you deal with that, even if you're in the best, even if the truth is... You know what? You ain't all that. You don't have anything going for you. You know? You ain't as well liked. Okay. You know the truth. The beauty of it is you can change that. Because once you know the truth of who you are, you can change that. That's the beauty of it. You can change it. You can do something about it. You know? When I realized the truth that I couldn't really work for other people, that I have trouble following, you know? That's when I really started working on business. And that's why, like, for decades, it was all about being in a position where I can do what I want. Because there were times, look, I'm going to be real. There were times I lied to myself, oh, yeah, I can work on this job, I can do this. I'm like, oh, hell no. <laughs> Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Look, I, like I said, I ain't no guru on top of the mountain. I'm climbing that mountain with everybody else. I've been through those situations where I'm lying to myself. Yeah, I like this situation. This is what I want. It was like, no, it ain't. No, it ain't. 
<laughs> Even some relationships. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is what I want. And I was like, no, it won't. <laughs> so, you know, but the thing was, once I dealt with the truth, and yeah, it hurt. I ain't going to lie, it hurt, but that pain went away. Because then when I saw you start dealing with the truth, that's when the pleasure came. You know, I'll end it with this. When I was last working on a full-time job, I used to have headaches regularly. To the point, even while I was on the job, I kept, I, I had to keep like uh, uh, pain medicine with me all the time. I mean, I had to just keep it on me. I had to go to it, I had to buy it. It was like a regular headache, right? Yeah, I had my business still, but you know, the financial position I was in, I had to uh, be there. And, but even being on this job to survive on it, I was lying to myself. I was lying to myself. Oh, it was great, it was great. It was never great. I was just coping. Once I dealt with the honest thing, like, you know what, I can't, I can't be here at all. Ain't nothing cool about this, you know? All of a sudden, boom, everything changed. Now, I can go months without a headache. I can go months. And only time I've gotten them, only time I've gotten them, and it's very rare I can count on, I could probably count the headaches I've gotten since I've stopped working full time. I could probably count it on like two hands, maybe even one. And the only time those headaches would come is if I didn't eat. And so it was like, it was never a stress headache, but that's because I dealt with the truth. And people got to just deal with the truth of whatever's going on in their lives, in the world. So I want y'all to think about that. Deal with, re deal with the truth, no matter how much it hurts. So anyway, I'll talk to y'all. Y'all have a great weekend. Peace and many blessings.